So I'm going to share with you here the WNB national TV schedule and local TV schedule, like regional TV schedule for Tuesday, August 20th, all the final day of the regular season, which is Thursday, September 19th. 2024. So we have the three games at 7 p.m. Eastern: the Spurs and the Connecticut Sun, the Dallas Wings and the New York Liberty is, a, is an NBA TV national game, and the Seattle Storm and the Washington Mystics. On the 21st, there are two games. One, and the games that aren't on there are on local TV network. Their local sports, not regional sports network. You know, like Connecticut is Nesson. Los Angeles is Spectrum Sports Net. Dallas is Bali Sports. Is Bali Sports South? I believe, like, alright, South Extra. Maybe Southwest Extra. Or Southwest, you know, it might be their extra channel. But, but yeah. And then we have New York Liberty. Their games are on my network TV. Are on a mine on the my network TV affiliate. Nash, um, and then Seattle is on the, is on their local Fox affiliate, or maybe it's Fox or my network TV one the two. And then we have Washington Mystics, or Monumental Sports Network. Phoenix is on Arizona's Family Sports over the year, and then Atlanta is on Peachtree TV. Not the not Bali sports, like the um, Braves, or Braves, Hawks, on. Uh, and then we have the Minnesota Lynx, or in Bali Sports North, and Bali Sports North Extra. And then we have the Vegas Aces, Las Vegas Aces, on. Las Vegas Aces are on. On our local box, if I believe. Then we have Chicago is on Marquee, and Indiana is on Bali Sports, and their local TV deal. And we have on um, Wednesday, 21st, Phoenix in Atlanta is on. Local network, regional networks. That is at 7 30 Eastern, 9 30 Eastern links, and 8 the miss links in those days cases. And ESPN at 9 30 Eastern. Prime Video has games every Thursday. Ion has games every th every Friday for, the, for, for regular season. And then we have ESPN has games. Like during the week, and then maybe a few on the weekend. But ABC has games, which is part of ESPN there. You know, like ESPN, ABC, CBS, Fox, ABC, ESPN, ABC, CBS, Fox, NBC, CW there, or sports. Not CW doesn't do full time, but like ABC. CBS, Fox, NBC, they are all their sports during the weekends. On, they, you know, instead of pushing it on their keyboard channels, like they try to push as much as they can to. Obviously, they show the most popular stuff over the. on, um, on their over the air, but, you know, but whatever they have, you know, to show if even. Even if it means, you know, ESPN, like, say ESPN has to have a re-air 
a bunch of readers. You know they will, you know. Especially in the dead thing. So they will. And then we have Ion Phoenix and Atlanta. Chicago and Connecticut and Los Angeles in Washington or on Lyon Center Street. And then you find out the game in your and what the national game is on INWNBA.com. You know the Las Vegas Aces in the it's not like the NWSL where the national there's only one game on. You know? You know, they're having a regionalized for WNB, which is whatever. But that is also because um, NWSL has less schemes than um, per year than. So they're showing like this. They might be showing the same percent of games. But if they're on NWSL, I on 30 deal. You know, maybe so. And then we have Connecticut and the New York. Connecticut and New York. Connecticut Sun and New York York Liberty at Sun Eastern on the 24th. A Eastern is Indiana Fever in Minnesota. 25th, we have the Las Vegas Aces in the Chicago Sky at noon on CBS. CBS has games on Saturdays and Sundays, but CBS airs golf, so they only have games either before golf and then. When they're not airing golf, they either have, you know, like, you know, that's when CBS, when, when they're not airing golf, is when CBS can air games on their, on CBS specifically. Um, same with the NWSL, that's any time they air games on CBS exclusively. CBS specifically. Um, usually, um, CBS Sports Network has games, but CBS does have a few when they're double headers when they're not airing and when they're not airing W and well, these are like double headers of like NWSL or WNB when they're not airing sports. But they have the big three in the summer, when they're airing back, you know, two, maybe four, and then they have golf mixed in, so it's kind of hard, but they do have a game here and a game there, you know. The rest of the too, on CBS. That's at noon Eastern on CBS. At 4 Eastern at NBC is the Los Angeles Sparks and Dallas Wings. We have a doubleheader on NBC on the 26th. India Fever and Atlanta Dream in the New York Liberty against the PS Mercury. And we have the Washington Mystics in the Seattle Storm at 10 Eastern. So, well, that's the New York Liberty and Phoenix Market Eastern. India Fever and Atlanta Dream at 7 Eastern. Eastern, you have the Las Vegas Aces and Dallas Wings on NBTV. Night, 7 Eastern, you have the Connecticut Sun and the Fever on NBTV. We have the uh, Washington Mystics and Chicago Sky and Lockwood Network at Eastern. And then we have, we have a triple, we have three games going on at 10 Eastern. The New York Liberty and Los Angeles Sparks at Eastern and BTV. And Minnesota and Phoenix Mercury. And they land a dream in Seattle Storm games or on the local region on the where the deals are. That's at City Street. And then on the 30th, Friday, August 30th, at 7 30 Eastern, have, there's two games in Iron. Any of you in Chicago Sky? And this one's at Dallas. I'm assuming that's going to be the NFU in Chicago Sky on, I, on that Iron National game. Then we got two games the Atlanta Dream. In Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty and the Sales Storm. New York Liberty and Sales Storm is going to be featured nationally. On the 31st, we have Connecticut Sun taking on the Washington Mystics. And then that's at 3 Eastern. And the reason why that's not in the team networks is because college football is starting. So, and and, and ABC and ESPN and all that. All ESPN channels. Air college football every every day of the week during the season. Except for the first week, ESPN 2 doesn't because they have the U.S. Open tennis. Hold on. 
full time. You know, I believe during the opening part of the season, but other than that, you know, ESPN does air games full time. Or yeah, on every channel. And the same with ABC and then CBS has two games on one at like 3 3 stream, one at 7 stream. So I'm surprised though it's not an NBA TV though. It could be an NBA TV, but whatever. Yeah, Sunday, September 1st. And on the 24th, I guess, why can I get Liberty on an NBA TV? Or on um, C or on ABC is probably because I know ESPN. They know they do the high school football showcase national games and some like F some some other FCS schools. They get in early, you know, to have games on ESPN so that they, you know, and then you know, and then we have doubleheader on NBA TV at one Eastern is Seattle Storm and Connecticut on the September 1st, Chicago Sky Missile Links at 3 Eastern, India Fever and Dallas Wings at 4 Eastern, MBT, Las Vegas Aces and Phoenix Mercury at 4 Eastern, and at 7 Eastern, Landry Men's Los Angeles Sports. We have a Tuesday, September 3rd, there's a game on MBT, the Seattle Storm and Connecticut at 7 Eastern, Eastern is Washington Mystics and Dallas Wings, 10 Eastern is Chicago Sky at Las Vegas Aces, and the Landry and Phoenix Mercury that's on local channels at 10 Eastern. CBS Sports Network has their first game in a while. At 7 Eastern is the Los Angeles Works in the AM Fever. Prime Video has two games. 7 Eastern on the 5th it is Sales Storm and New York Liberty. At 7 Eastern and 10 Eastern is the Washington Mystics and the Phoenix Mercury. Then we have at Ion, we have a triple header at 7 30 Eastern. Three games at 7 30 Eastern. Dallas Swings and Dream. The Las Vegas Aces and the Connecticut Sun, which is going to be the national game, I'm assuming. And then we have Nestlings in the NFL Fever at 7 30 Street. And then 10 9 30 Street, national game. There's only one game on. So it has been be national game. Los Angeles Sparks and the Chicago Sky. It might be joining in progress in your area, depending on how long the games take before. It'll be joining a little bit in progress. And then at 9 Eastern is the 7th. Is Phoenix Mercury and Seattle Storm and Eastern on NBA TV, and then at the Sunday the eighth on ESPN three. Men the men are taking the Washington Mystics at three Eastern, four Eastern the EF Fever, the Orlando Dream are taking the EF Fever, four Eastern Eastern three. Then we have an ESPN at four Eastern, the Las Vegas Aces and the New York Liberty. Then we have at six Eastern. Uh, Dallas Wings are taking the Chicago Sky on local networks at 9 Eastern. The Connecticut Center taking on the Los Angeles Sparks. We have a single header on NBA TV at 7 30 Eastern. The Missile and the Monks are taking on the Landry. And at 8 Eastern, the New York Library are taking on the Dallas Wings. On M with the WNBA, they do have multiple games one at a time. So sometimes, if they have them, um, you know, if there's two games going on at a time, We'll have them on simulcast networks like NBA TV and CBS Sports Network do overlap national TV games for the WNBA. It's not like the NBA where like, oh, there's a game, you know, national game on NBA TV. And then there's regional games. They're only on like the league, league pass app or like regional networks, regional sports networks, regional ch over the air channels. No. And then, like, same with TNT, and, uh, TNT, ESPN, you know, all that stuff, you know? No, that's not the case. You know, I mean, MWE does a little bit like college sometimes, where they have... Not all the time do they have, like, double head, like, multiple games overlapping. I'm not talking, like, regional-based, like, I am. I'm talking, like, national team, where anyone can see both games. They have those channels on their keyboard Sally package. You know? So. And then at 10 Eastern, we have the Connecticut Sun and the Los Angeles Sparks. 
And then we have and they want at some eastern uh, double header and MBT at some eastern is uh let's say East is in the Indian fever. The Washington Mystics in the Chicago Sky in the Eastern. At some eastern is Seattle Storm. Together on the Los Angeles Sports. And then Prime there is a single game. We have on the twelfth of September. Uh New York Liberty taking the Dallas Wings in the Eastern. And then we have a a, four, a quadruple header on Ion. Four games on the same time. On Ion. You're, you're, you're seeing your local team on your local Ion affiliates throughout the country. And then Ion affiliates where you know you don't have like a local game. Like your local team playing. You know, you know when your local team isn't playing in your local affiliate, or you just don't have a team in your local ion affiliate, or you just get the national game. Yes, yeah, so we have the Washington Mystics in the uh, Dream, Las Vegas Aces in the NFU, the Seattle Storm, and the Dallas Wings, and we have Chicago Sky in. Minnesota on oh, nine at seven thirty Eastern, and ten Eastern we have the Connecticut Sun and the Phoenix Mercury. And on the fifteenth, there is a slate of six games. Three on uh, triple header uh, at three Eastern. We have Dallas Wings and EFE running BTV. Minnesota Lynx and the New York Liberty, and the Dream and the Washington Mystics. And at six Eastern, one game is there's one national game and two regional games. Two regional league pass games. At 6 Eastern, we have the Phoenix Mercury and the Chicago Sky. The Connecticut Sun and the Las Vegas Aces. That's the CS Sports Center National League team. And the Los Angeles Sparks and the Seattle Storm. And then on the 17th, at 7, we have a we have a five games going on. We have the Miss Links and the Connecticut Sun at 7 Eastern. So, and the New York Liberty and Washington Mystics at 7 Eastern, but that's NBA TV. 7 30 Eastern is the Chicago Sky in the Landry. 10 Eastern. We have the Las Vegas Aces in the Seattle Storm on NBA TV. And at 10 30 Eastern on the CS Sports Network, we have the Phoenix Mercury and the Los Angeles Sparks. And then there is. On the 19th, we have every team plays on the final day of the season. And there is only one game on NBA TV and one game on Prime. It was on Prime. We have the Chicago Sky and the Connecticut Sun at 7 Eastern. On Land Dream and the New York Liberty is NBA TV game. The NBA Fever and Washington Mystics is the Amazon Prime game. Los Angeles Sparks and Miss Lynx, that's on regional networks. Then we have the Dallas Wings in Las Vegas Aces. And we have the Seattle Storm and the Phoenix Mercury. One of these two games at 9 Eastern. One of these two games, one could be an NBA TV, one could be a Prime, Amazon Prime book. Whatever they're not doing it. And then the playoffs will start on the 22nd of September. That will be when the playoffs start. They will start the opening round games. I'm assuming on the 22nd. They may have all games are on the 22nd. You know, like one at 1 Eastern, one at 3 Eastern. Or maybe one at one Eastern, one at maybe three thirty Eastern. Then maybe one at um six Eastern, and maybe one at um eight thirty Eastern on you know ESPN, ESPN two you know my or two of the games, you know, maybe ABC or two of the games. Or the first two games, maybe. Best, you know, two, two games, you know. And then maybe ESPN video. Or, you know. You know, you can have one game at, like, one, um, I should say, we have one Eastern, then three, three Eastern, then six Eastern, and eight, thirty Eastern, yeah. So, I mean, ESPN could air the night games. Unless they're airing a Sunday Night Baseball game in ESPN. Then you would, maybe the ESPN would show that. Maybe, we'll see, depending on. I guess it would probably be ESPN would be filled first, because there's a yeah. Because then you know for sure, you know, you don't know. You 
No. Mm, let's see it. No, if, if the WMB is on ESPN or it's on. And the MLB, either way, it's going to be on ESPN 2 for sure. And then, well, yeah, and then. Or it might be on the 24th. You know, because I don't think they would overlap Monday night football. If it's two games. So yeah, then they might just do two. You no know, back to backs. You have one nationally televised. One on. Uh, now before they did it where um I mean I think that was um one year where they had um had to have games, you know, overlap each other. Like nationally televised, one would be on like ESPN two, one would be on like ESPN U or ESPN News or something like that. Something like that. So maybe. I'm not really sure, but whether they're gonna do it this year because of the Olympic break. And then they'd have I'm assuming they want to get the games in before um the NBA season starts. You know, then maybe they overlap that NBA preseason. And then yeah, because you know the NBA preseason. You know, can get televised by um NBA TV, whatever, or TNT. Because it's not like the in years past where like it's not going to be in years prior, in years future, where, um, you know, you might have ESPN have one, you know, ESP, you know, and then they split the games, 